Welcome back, Rankers. It seems that every other week recently I've been talking about some natural disaster. And uh, this week, of course, is no different uh, with the terrible and tragic events in Japan. Um, obviously, all our thoughts are with them. But uh, we're all inundated with news about that, so I'm not going to touch on it today. And uh, I'm going to get back to the ed edutainment. And uh, I thought this week we'd take a look at some, some keyword analysis. But before I get on to that, you may have noticed, if you're watching this show wearing headphones, that we now come to you in stereo sound. That's right. One, two, one, two. Pretty good, huh? Plugged another microphone in. Anyway, what I wanted to talk to about with keyword analysis today is... Just have a look at some of the things that you can do with Google Insights for search when you're doing some research of your keywords, because different things come into it. Uh, and I often get asked about this, and it's really important because it's the fundamental of any SEO campaign. If you get your keyword research wrong, you've wasted all your time and effort down the track. Um, it's the foundation. But the things that you've got to look at is seasonality, uh, maybe headlines, what's happening in the news, uh, uh, is there a certain phrases or terms that have been maybe promoted online or on, on television or whatever, that are in people's consciousness. And you know, forget about jargon, number one, unless the jargon is often used by a particular, say, professional group that you might be targeting. So today I thought I'd just start off with the phrase carbon tax, because I'm a troublemaker. And what I've got here, I've, I've done a search for the phrase carbon tax. It's a worldwide search over the last... 12 months. Now, interestingly, apart from Australia, it's also interesting, the interested, interesting? It's also of interest to the people of Ireland and the people of Canada, which is curious. And so then I went and did a news search. And what I've done here, I've got a news search happening for the phrase, an exact match for the phrase carbon tax, and I'm sorting it by the oldest piece of news that Google has first on this issue. And I've said return articles to me from any time. Then I do a search. And I was surprised to learn that the Irish Times was also talking about a carbon tax on February 16. And I thought, well, that's, that's odd. Okay, so it's interested both the Australian people and the people of Ireland. So then I go back to Google Insights for search, and I say, well, instead of the last 12 months, just give me the last 90 days. Because I'm trying to work out when did the spike start for people searching for carbon tax. And we can see here, I'm still doing this worldwide, and we can see there that it, it looks like it's just after February 16. If I go the last... 30 days, we can see there it's it's around, yeah, just after Feb 16 when it started. So that's when all the activity for people searching for this phrase started. But let's get local. So let's have a look at carbon tax. Who's searching for carbon tax in Australia? And we'll just do the last 12 months. See the spike, and <laughs> no surprise, Australian Capital Territory, our national capital, is where most of the searches are coming from. So then I want to get an idea of, um, okay, if people are searching for carbon tax, maybe they're also searching for global warming. And you can make certain deductions about the types of searches and the people making those searches by sometimes looking at when they occur. So we can see here there's a fairly cyclical nature uh, on the global warming searches. So what I'd be interested to know, and, and really, you know, they do not ma match the carbon tax searches at all. So what I'd be interested to see is, well, maybe climate change. See if we can get a similar pattern happening on and, and try to get some... So we got climate change. Okay, well, that, that matches the global warming trend quite, well, almost identical. Uh, and then, just for the heck of it, let's do bullying. Why? You'll see. 
because it's telling us something about the people that are doing the searches for this phrase. Now, you can see that that phrase matches those other ones. Exactly. Now, you might say, well, is Google broken? No, it's not. Have a look at where these dips in the searches occur. They occur during school holidays. So the only, from that, I would say that the only, the majority of people, well, <laughs> apart from uh, our friends in Canberra, the majority of people searching for carbon tax, global warming, and bullying are kids at school. And this search here on carbon tax is a completely different set of people doing those searches. Hopefully that's helpful for some of you doing your, your keyword research, and we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.